Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy and to another open with me. And this one I, uh, is another of my short subscriptions to um, the magazine. So I've removed that. And here we are. We've got the latest edition of Crochet Now and the free gifts. So let's have a little look, shall we? What we've got in here, 105 tips, tricks and ideas. A free book for every reader. 41 new season patterns. So the free book, um, I'm not sure if it's in here or if it's something you have to send off for. So let's have a look. We'll see if I open the packaging. So while I'm doing that, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This is easier said than done. Um, and the notification bell, and you'll be informed when there are new videos. Right, I seem to have hit. A very tough part. I can't even I can't even fight against polythene bags. It's come to something, hasn't it? Here we go. I'm winning at last. So here we've got a free gift, and this is a Bella Coco crochet hook, two darning needles, and a needle keeper. That's this. Um, stitch markers and a handy tin. So that's the the free gift. What size is the crochet hook? I'm trying to see what size that looks because it's actually on the other side. Ah, hang on. It's a bit like a clover and that it's stamped on. So it's a six millimeter, six millimeter hook. So I'll pop that over there and we've got a pattern for Shaun the Sheep and the Naughty Pigs. And that's from Wallace and Gromit. And here we go. Nice little pull-out pattern to keep. And then we've got the magazine. So here we go. Book then must be um, one you send off for, perhaps. So we've got some Christmas bits and pieces. We've got a little um, gnome or elf with a poinsettia. Oh, I can never say that properly. Even before my operation. Three creative blankets, um, must follow influencers, crochet for charity, expert advice and more. I bet I'm not one of these influencers. I can make that prediction. 41 patterns, it's cute spooky sweater because Halloween is approaching. And the, if the, right at the top is a bit of a Christmas wreath and a cable knit or cable, cable crochet, should I say. A uh, scarf and a cardigan. Unless, what is this? Intriguing. This cannot be the book, surely. Let's have a look. There's something in here. Personal voucher. Um, well, no, that's just an advert. We'll get rid of that. Well, I don't know what the point of putting that in an envelope was. Waste of an envelope. So let's get cracking. There's the welcome page and a little bit about the free gift here, um, which I won't read because it's always the same welcome stuff. So projects in this one then, we've got a tank top, which is some kind of basket weave. Try and get it closer. Some kind of like weave pattern and the cardigan and we've got a lovely little lion as well as a cushion and a free yarn pack when you subscribe and some mittens as well as other things they're all listed here but well the like the, the contents are but uh we can make some crochet bags but uh, i don't think those are Actually, in here, this is a book. So, a book review, fourteen ninety nine by Emma Osmond. I don't believe it's one of the Osmonds, but same name. There we are. So, um, that's a book to buy. I don't think it's a book that you'll get, or the one that they're talking about. And we've got Full of Charm. That's kind of nice yarn, this charm. It reminds me of the Red Heart Super Saver that I've got in similar colour. I haven't used it yet and I really should. So there's a bit, few bits and pieces here, but they're not in the magazine. So half and half, that's kind of interesting. 
that again that's not in the book though that's at sheepies so you could find yourself finding that pattern over there at their website maybe um and some yarn cakes that uh rico design and a beautiful bamboo prim hook so i don't know i can't see a price so i don't know if that's an offer or just an advert i don't think i'll read it so we've got an advert for mariners i did do a haul or unboxing from mariners a little while ago so show us your makes we've got some amigurumis that people have sent in there's the chips sorry about the lorry going by it's one of those lorries that didn't go slow enough but most of them are now so we've got the chips and the seagull which is amazing i love that and we have lots and lots of oh, paddington bear look at that and you know this little guy his name is zebedee comes from the magic roundabout and this was dylan and this was Zebedee. These were, for those of you across the pond, I'm not sure if you've ever seen The Magic Roundabout. This was what I grew up with. This was a TV show. And my favourite was Zebedee. And for a long, long time, I used to sign everything with Tracy and draw a picture of Zebedee and put boing. Because obviously he had a spring and he used to boing. That's, every time he came along, he would go boing. So I used to draw a picture of Zebedee and write boing. So I grew out of that. So we've got the Copperfield Cable Scarf and we've got the chart as well as the instructions and special bobble stitches as well in that. Looks nice, looks very chunky, doesn't it? So that'd be, um, that'd be nice and warm. It reminds me of someone going off to college or uni, don't you know what I mean? Maybe. The Woodman Trail Lap Blanket. So uh, tension is not critical for this project, but if your swatch is larger, you may need to purchase additional yarn. So obviously it's, it's a blanket, so therefore the size doesn't really matter as long as you have enough yarn to complete it. So this is um, all about how to make that and the charts. It's quite pretty, I have to say. Fairly nice pattern. Oh, wow. Taro, the witch's cat. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I would really, really love to whip him up in a second if I was into amigurumi. Oh, I really love them when I see them, so I really ought to give it a go and make them. I just don't have enough time. So this is the King Cole Christmas Crochet Book 1. I don't know how many books they're intending to have. Um, I don't know why you can cut that out. It's got that one of those thing is Christmas crochet book one available from all good yarn retailers well that's if any exist anymore because all of our yarn retailers have closed down apart from online ones so the bright rib reef now that's quite nice it reminds me of the um the the neck warmer I recently made in rib so it looks to me as if it's the same kind of pattern but you just make it into a reef it's kind of nice um, rainbow wreath doesn't really say Christmas <laughs> so, sorry I find it hard to get my words out sometimes um, since having my operation and Christmas seems to be one of them so um, <laughs> unfortunately Christmas is well I say fortunately actually Christmas is coming so I better get used to it saying it that is so yeah it's nice I like it but it doesn't scream Christmas at me I guess you know if you could make it a bit more Christmassy with the bow, perhaps. I don't know, but it's pretty anyway. I like it. doesn't really make it for any time, though, couldn't you? And as it looks, to me, it looks like a pride wreath rather than a Christmas wreath. So this is the Breeze Cardigan. I do like that. Be short, too short for me. Um, I have to hide this part of me since my cesarean, which, um, you know, things never look flat again. Um, unless you do something about them surgically, that is, which is a long way off. But, um, yeah, it would have to be longer. I'd have to sort of ignore the sizing and make it longer, then it would be okay. The sleeves look good. You know me, I hate baggy sleeves, and they look kind of cool. So um, if it was a bit longer, I don't like this midriff fashion. You only know, see crop tops and midriff short 
things. I prefer them to be long. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, that's just me. But we've got the size in and everything. Um, let's see what sizes they do. Um, that's the colours. Where do we get size in? We've got an extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, 2XL and 3XL. Obviously, they're UK sizes. So, those up to a size... Um, 131 bust length. Well, I won't bother about that because I wouldn't do it. And sleeve length, 50 centimetres, which is, I guess, cool because if you wanted, for, for me, for instance, I'm not very tall. So I don't have overly long arms, but I'd want to make it longer in the body. And to fit my bust size, perhaps I wouldn't need such long arms. So I could follow the size in for the arms of a different size. I like that, it's pretty cool. So there we are, picture of it at the back. More kind of jacket looking, isn't it? And at the front. And win 15 miles of yarn. 20% off of King Cole at the foundry. I've never used the foundry, so I can't tell you what they're like. And that's a pretty nice shawl, the Gina shawl at cascades.com. Kerry's Journal. I never read these things. I know there are some people who probably would read all the journals and everything, but I'm not really into that sort of thing. The Snuggly Sheep Mittens. Now, I do like these. Um, I like the difference. It sounds like this lorry's going a bit too fast. Actually not, it's just a big one. So I like this. This does look kind of sheepy, doesn't it? And um, yeah, they're kind of sweet. I like those. Very nice. Now we've got Christmas Christmas stripes blanket. A little bit jazzy for me, unfortunately. I'm not really into these rapid colour changes. And even when you've got a colour change, you've still got a bit of this colour in the white. and It's too busy for me. Um, it's pretty, but it's just a bit too busy for me, unfortunately. So join Crochet Now today. Um, what's the offer? Uh, free... Crochet Society Cushion Cow when you subscribe to Crochet Now. So what will you get then? The brand new cow worth $34.99. So I, I guess you get the yarn and the instructions and the cow. Okay, so there's the yarn. So um, $18.99 for every three months or $75.99 for 13 issues online this is at practical <clears throat> subs.com which is a different company to the one i subscribe to but it's a good offer so there's the code should you need it if you want to give it a go now this is i like this pretty poinsettia gnome it was a gnome oh it was a gnome pixie or whatever but yeah it definitely is a gnome he's cute i like him <laughs> And of Christmas put in. Christmas, crochet for Christmas with Together Trust. So I don't know if the pudding is actually in this um, edition, but this is a pudding to hide your Cadbury's cream egg in. Not cream egg, goodness gracious. Um, the chocolate orange egg, which I always buy Paul one every year. It's no surprise to him. He knows he's going to get one every year and a Toblerone. But here we go, there you go, it's a cover for your chocolate orange cream egg, honestly. Where did that come from? Maybe I've got craving on the brain. So we've got Knit Pro adverts and some more adverts. Basket weave vest. Now I don't mind this, I think it's quite cool. You get a lot of these, especially in Next, the shop, um, where these actually are sewn in. So it's Although it's a vest, it's part of the shirt. And that's kind of cool. That's how I'd have to wear it, obviously, because of my tummy. But um, I like that. That's not bad. And then you've got all of the instructions and the chart. I do like it when they do the chart. So you've got medium, large, extra large, extra small, small, 3X, 4X and 5X. Wow. So that's not bad. Lots of sizing. Uh, crochet, free crochet books. Find these books. 
visit www.craftworld.com and search for the name of the book. So you can get free books. Our friends at Craft World are offering a fab selection of craft books and magazines to download for free. So you can learn to crochet with Granny Square, Easy Hats, Craft World, Tunisian Crochet and a Year of Crochet Society Patterns for All Seasons. So, if you want to have a little look there then, this is the site and search for the name of the book. Okay, so if I linger over these, then you can write them down if you need. We can always pause it anyway. I don't linger long enough. There's that one. So maybe there are some free books after all. We'll have to see. Let me know if you get to do it. I will probably forget. So this is the Enigma Crochet Along Park 6. It's been going on for a little while. It's pretty. Very busy. A lot of the crochet alongs and blankets I've noticed in these magazines are very, very busy patterns. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got Pure Platinum from Rowan. I always find Rowan quite expensive. Gypsum Jumper. Now this reminds me of the 60s. I don't know why. Because it's like a, a herringbone, I guess. Or Tweedy pattern. Just reminds me of something my mum had, I think, when I was a little girl. But it's quite detailed instructions. Sleeves are a bit baggy for me, a bit long. But it looks like an easy kind of pattern there. So it might be a good one for beginners or adverts. So we've got Ho 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 with the Bella Coco Christmas event calendar. Now I'd not seen this before. One of my subscribers said they saw it and they preferred that. But it's £74.99. So it's £75 for an advent calendar. And it looks like you get a ball of yarn and a hook. <clears throat> Whether you get a hook in every box, I don't know. But that's £75 is quite a lot for 24 little prizes. That's rather a lot of money. 25 Normally to advent calendars, you don't get anything on Christmas Day. It goes 24 But obviously this one does 25 So there is 25 gifts, 25 balls of yarn and 20 five day crochet along so it's a crochet along so all of these balls are for the crochet along then you see i've not seen this before so this is the first time i'm seeing it with you wow so there's the details if you want to order that or take part it is a bit of a considered purchase though um at 75 pounds really there is a i guess 25 balls of yarn in that so but 75 pounds if I, i'm looking at seven if i got 25 balls of yarn you got 25 gifts so they're not all hooks then are they <clears throat> that's still quite a lot of money um so i don't think i'll be doing it i think i'll be coveting it and wouldn't mind trying it but i don't think i'll be purchasing it unfortunately so the book club this month we're featuring playful and having fun with Stephanie Pacorni's book, Creative Crochet Projects, which is shown here. That's what it looks like. Is that a burger? Oh, no, that's a burger. That's a hot dog. So I actually have made this, but I didn't make hers, obviously. I made it for myself. Hearts on a twine as a, what's the word? Bunting, we call it garland some people call it but bunting i've made that very thing i didn't put pom-poms on my hearts so just put hearts but still and this reminds me of a really beautiful hooded um scarf that i've seen with animal paws and ears on this and paws on the on the fingerless gloves it looks incredible i've seen it so many times never made it but I always think that looks absolutely fabulous. And if I made that, would I wear it? And the answer always is, yeah. But my kids would probably shake their heads every time they saw me with it on. But I like it. So this is the Be Unified Mobile. So you've got a little 
beehive and all the bees. That's kind of un unusual. So there you go. Details on how to make that. They're quite cute little bees. They're pretty sweet, aren't they? <laughs> what an idea. That's original. Unlike the hearts, which they obviously ripped off from me. Oh, they didn't, because they didn't know I'd done it. So, get to know all warehouse. I've already known them. Thank you very much. Don't need to get to know them. Leonard the Lion. He's quite sweet. I saw him on the front cover. He is pretty. I like his loopy hair. So, details on how to make him. And his cute little scarf. Very nice. I've got two pages, it feels like it. I have to get... No, no. So we've got the Bella Coco Chronicles. And again, she's showing her Christmas advent calendar and talking about the free gift that's in here. Um, I would love to do the advent calendar. If they sent me one to review it, free of charge, I would review it. Hint, hint, Bella Coco, if you're watching, which I doubt. But um, I couldn't stretch to buy it. I know I probably could, but I, I don't... I just well, It's just a bit expensive. So here we've got a Christmas tree gift topper. I can't see that being a top of my tree, really, but there we are. And we've got a scarf, the flexi scarf. Why is it flexi? Flexible scarf, most are. I yet to find one that wasn't. <laughs> so this is nice. This looks reminds me of things I used to make when I was young. Um, I've made lots and lots of little projects like this for my brother and my sister when they were having babies. Well, more my brother, really. I think I probably did make one for my sister, for Sharon, when she was a baby, but uh, and maybe for Michelle. But I know I definitely made them for my brother, um, for, his, for his babies. Cozy Cable Cushion. Now, this is the second magazine with a cable cushion and cable scarves. So they must be in this year. So that's um, because it's in, now been in a couple of them. I think it was in my Simply Crochet, which I don't think a lot of people got notified about. So I will put a link at the end to that magazine because um, a lot of people usually like that one. And I don't think the notifications went out for it. So this is your crochet community. Lots of little bits to read. I always skip past them. So... Um, Advert section. This is Salem Spell Children's Jumper, and I quite like this. That's a nice little jumper. I actually like that. And then we've got the chart, which is cool. Although, it's upside down. Never mind. It would be the right way, but it, you'd need to cut it out. So there you go. I like that. That's pretty sweet. And you've got the chart as well that shows you all the um, it doesn't really show you much, does it? <laughs> because it's got no, no sizing on it, just A, B, C and D, where you'd put your... I think you'd be able to work that out, personally. But it's got um, detailed instructions. I really do like that. You never know, I might make Harley and Tyler those. We'll have to see oh, if I get the chance. So here we go, how to read a pattern. And I like the fact that when they do this, they always pick something that's a bit difficult from their magazine, like this cable um, scarf, and they will show you. And they'll show you the chart and how to do the chart. So that's cool, I like that. And then we've got the learn the basics, holding it, which I always take real offense to, because that's not the only way to hold it. Hold your hook, hold your yarn, you know, at least they're showing you both ways in this one. And just recently, I keep seeing so many people saying, oh, I've got such pain in my hands, I've got such pain in my shoulder, elbow, wherever, and what can I do? And, and I think, well, switch from this to this. But, you know, you can't... People don't really want to be told that this is the correct way to hold a hook this is not people think oh it's fine you can hold it whichever way you want and yes you can but this way there's a lot less pain involved i have to say there are always some pitfalls like i started using these ergonomic hooks and then one day i picked up a just an ordinary hook and i started to 
get pain all the way down this part of my hand. I went back to the ergonomic hooks and I didn't. But had I not used the ergonomic hooks in the first place, my hands would have kept being used to those thin ones. But I don't get pain anywhere in my arms because my arms don't actually move much when I crochet, only my hands move and occasionally bits of my wrist but that's all that moves and that's why I think this causes so much more pain there's so much more to move and um but this is the new way this is the way that people are being taught now especially if they're learning from other youtubers that do it that way if you catch my drift um but us old timers that do it this way you know, you're always going to get people that get arthritis in later life. It's not necessarily down to crochet, but I just feel like, you know, I'm not really moving my elbow, my arm, my shoulder. I'm just moving my hands when I crochet and my arms are by my side. So I just think this causes a lot less pain. That's my opinion anyway, for what it's worth. For what it's worth. I wouldn't really dream of telling anyone how they should do things, but... That's my, my little bit of advice. So here we go, more of um, these um, how to do bits and pieces, illustrating with their own um, patterns in the magazine. Uh, oh, two pages, definitely that time. <clears throat> and all the abbreviations, which is pretty standard in the back. Um, crochet hook conversions and terms. So yeah, all of the usual how to do's and everything. What is that there? Crochet Now TV. Keep an eye on www.crochetnow.co.uk for YouTube channel with step-by-step -step videos. So, they've jumped on the crochet on YouTube bandwagon. Might be worth having a look, but maybe not. We'll see. So, in the next issue of Crochet Now, Merry and Bright, it's Christmas time, they're getting ready. So we've got a Pusheen hook and um, stitch marker set. We've got more scarves. We've got more amigurumis. We've got a very swirly afghan made with granny squares. And we've got a very stripy and dotty pullover or jumper. Depends what you call it, where you're from. And then the last page, Ask the Stylecraft Expert. And that's that. So, what do you think? That there is rubbish, but we've got a nice pattern with the um, Shaun the Sheep from Wallace and Gromit and the Naughty Pigs. We've got the magazine and we've got our Bella Coco hook set. Not a sparkly one this time. And I have to say, it looks like a clover hook. I don't know if it is. Um, sometimes I find them, they don't um slip enough but we'll give this a try and uh see how we go somebody asked me once i've done this if i'll review the crochet hooks <clears throat> so i will sorry about the little frog in my throat but um something shot down my throat earlier and even though i've had a drink i can't seem to um once it choked me that's <laughs> that's it it seems to be a bit of a feature today that I'm going to have this frog in my throat. So thank you for watching this and uh, stay safe and take care. And like I said, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And um, watch out for the other Open With Me's. Um, the Simply Crochet has just been done. And as I said, I'll put a link at the end. So see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.